Earning the reward of 83 years of worship in one night, the gates of heaven open and thousands of angels descend to earth. The night all sins can be forgiven is the Laylatul Qadr. Indeed, it is we who sent this Quran down on the night of glory. And what will make you realize what the night of glory is? The night of glory is better than a thousand months. That night the angels and the Holy Spirit descend by the permission of their Lord for every decreed matter. It is all peace until the break of dawn. Six steps to make the Laylatul Qadr a turning point for you. One, prepare for the night. Let's make an exciting entrance to Laylatul Qadr, which begins with the Maghrib prayer. Let's start contemplating Allah and the hereafter with an unbloated stomach and a vigorous body and soul after iftar. Minimize worldly talk, stay away from social media, set up a quiet and clean environment. Let's intend for intimate moments alone with Allah. As eternal passenger, we need your support. We are an organization of women volunteers who aim to spread the message of Islam all over the world. Our videos have helped thousands of people change their lives, convert to Islam, give up haram, start praying, wear hijab, learn to read the Quran, by donating through the thanks button and becoming a member of this family by clicking the join button, you can have your share in all these good deeds. Donate to Eternal Passenger. Two, open a new page. The time that has passed stays in the past. You might have regrets due to your sins or maybe you have sadness. Maybe you hopelessly shy away from coming closer to Allah I want to give you a wonderful news that will revive your hopes. The Messenger of Allah said, The one who repents from sin is like one who did not sin. Laylatul Qadr is a night when Allah's mercy peaks. If we repent, it's a wonderful night where all our sins can be forgiven and our hearts can be completely pure. He is the most merciful, the most compassionate. He loves to forgive. 3. Ascend to spiritual elevation with Salah. Contemplate every blessing bestowed upon the every particle of your being. Feel the mercy of Allah engraved in your life and ascend to His presence to give thanks. Feel the blessing by praying in a congregation. Especially with the Tahajjud prayer, you can benefit more from the goodness of the Laylatul Qadr. They abandon their beds, invoking their Lord with hope and fear, and donate from what we have provided for them. No soul can imagine what delights are kept in store for them as a reward for what they used to do. In the Tasbih, after the prayer, there are such glad tidings that our Prophet Muhammad says, after every prayer, whoever glorifies Allah by saying Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, and Allahu Akbar 33 times each, and completes it by saying, there is nothing which deserves to be worshiped except Allah alone who has no partner. To him belongs the kingdom, to him praise is due, and he has power over everything. Their sins will be forgiven, even if they are as abundant as the foam of the sea. By performing this tasbih, you can purify yourself from your sins and become completely immaculate. Four, you can open all doors with prayer. Our Prophet emphasized the importance of praying, especially on that night. On that night when the gates of the heaven are opened and angels bear witness, ask with all your sincerity. Ask thoroughly from your Lord who is capable of everything and for whom granting is not burdensome, the Almighty. Here is the prayer through which Allah can forgive all our sins on that night. O oh Allah, you are forgiving and love forgiveness, so forgive me. 5. Illuminate your path with the Qur'an On that night, the Qur'an was revealed to the earth, guiding people from darkness to light. On that night, let us read the word of Allah as if it is newly revealed. Let us internalize its meaning, contemplate it thoroughly, and say Bismillah for new horizons in our lives with its light. 6. Call your loved ones and invite them. By explaining the value of this night of mercy filled with blessings, we can play a role in encouraging our loved ones to repent from their sins, draw closer to Allah, and embark on new beginnings. One who guides to something good has a reward similar to that of its doer. With the prayer of attaining Allah's consent with Laylatul Qadr, Assalamu Alaikum. Allahumma innaka afu tuhibbu al-afu fa'fu anna